in this practical experiment we will test pungency in mustard oil which is very important to distinguish between expeller oil and cold press oil this video is very exclusive as there is not even single video related to proper procedure for this experiment we will follow a interesting methodology this experiment we need some equipments and apparatus and also standard chemicals and reagents to better understand we have divided the complete process into six steps chemical preparation is very crucial and should be prepared properly and carefully to prepare n by 20 silver nitrate solution dissolve 4.247 g of silver nitrate in 500 ml of distilled water and standardize it to prepare n by 20 ammonium thiocyanate solution dissolve 1.962 g of ammonium thiocyanate in 500 ml of distilled water to prepare 10% ferric alum indicator dissolve 10 g of ammonium ferric sulfate in 100 ml of distilled water in this experiment the reagents that we have prepared are ferric alum as indicator n by 20 silver nitrate n by 20 ammonium thiocyanate and the chemicals required are ethanol nitric acid and ammonium hydroxide in the second step sample preparation we will weigh accurately about 5 g of the oil and if direct weighing of oil in the distillation flask is not possible then use the intact method in that mix the sample thoroughly and take about 50 ml of the oil in 100 ml beaker take the weight of oil plus beaker plus dropper on the balance and note this reading as initial reading now carefully transfer about 5 g of the oil from beaker to distillation flask using this dropper be careful and sure about that oil should not drop out from the dropper while transfer after transferring about 5 g of the oil again take the weight of beaker plus oil plus dropper and note this reading as final reading by subtracting final reading from the initial reading we will have the accurate weight of oil in the distillation flask and now add to it 25 ml of ethyl alcohol and close the flask with stopper as the compound allyl isothiocyanate evaporates at room temperature also add to it 150 ml of distilled water and never leave the distillation flask open unnecessarily in the third step blend preparation we will add exactly 25 ml of n by 20 silver nitrate solution in a empty conical flask add to it 200 ml of distilled water and 5 ml of concentrated nitric acid by this our blank sample is prepared in the fourth step steam distillation the compound allyl isothiocyanate is separated from distillation flask and transferred to meiring flask and for this we will set up the complete distillation unit by connecting the distillation flasks on one side with steam generator and to the other side with the condenser now take 250 ml meiring flask and add to it exactly 25 ml of n by 20 silver nitrate solution and also add 10 ml of 10% ammonium hydroxide solution carefully adjust this meiring flask under the lower end of condenser after this complete setup of steam distillation apparatus start providing heat through hot plate to this copper vessel containing water level not more than its 2/3 volume the steam generated in boiler passes through the side hole into the distillation flask and the mixture start boiling the vapors of allyl isothiocyanate 
passes through this condenser and collected in mirroring flask containing 25 ml of silver nitrate and 10 ml of ammonium hydroxide solution after collecting 150 ml of the distillate immediately remove the mirroring flask and close with stopper after this you have two options either keep this mirroring flask in a dark cool place overnight to have complete reaction between the chemicals or heat the distillate mixture on a water bath for half an hour by attaching the reflux air condenser to the mirroring flask after this filter the distillate into a conical flask using funnel and filter paper after complete filtration transfer the filtrate into a sample titration flask by rinsing the mirroring flask with distilled water in the fifth step we will perform two titration one for the sample and another for the blank add standard solution of ny20 ammonium thiocyanate in the burette and note the initial reading for sample titration take the titration flask containing filter distillate add to it 5 ml of concentrated nitric acid below of the vapors formed and after add to it 5 to 6 drops of indicator ferric alum now start adding the titrant from the burette to the sample titration flask drop wise during this titration at some time when the ammonium thiocyanate reacts completely with the unused or non reacted silver nitrate present in the sample the color changes from gray white to red orange and this will be the end point at this point stop the titration process and note the final reading on the burette for the blank titration again note the initial reading and titrate the blank titration flask in the similar way the 25 ml of the silver nitrate taken will be accurated by this blank titration and will be represented by the volume of ammonium thiocyanate used now when the color changes to red orange stop the titration and note the final reading Now we are going to a final step to calculate the allyl isothiocyanate percentage by using this formula. We will arrange all the values and reading that we know from both the titration process. Value for volume of ammonium thiocyanate used for sample titration is calculated by subtracting initial reading from the final reading taken in the sample titration process. And similarly we will find the value of ammonium thiocyanate used in the blank titration. and the other values normality of ammonium thiocyanate and weight of oil taken we already know now after filling all the values in the formula we calculated the result as 0.28% that means the oil taken is cold pressed oil